Back in 1990, the Berlin Wall came down, Nelson Mandela was released from prison, and the Hubble Space Telescope launched into orbit. It is also the year this unknown was expelled from the Church of Scientology, never to return. So how does Leah Remini whitewash history three decades later? You do get paid and you do get attention for doing this stuff. I don't work for free. I mean, I'm just a crappy has-been actress who's trying to make a dollar off my church. Leah Remini is obsessed. After being kicked out of the Church of Scientology for immoral behavior, antisocial conduct, and deceit, she tried to shake down the church with ludicrous demands, first for $500,000, and then for one million. When that failed, she contrived a cable TV hate show featuring a clique of extortionists, assailants, liars, and thieves, each one expelled from the church over the course of the last four decades. Among them, long forgotten Janice Grady. A former church staff member from the 1970s and 80s, Grady was expelled after a long and incorrigible record of destructive acts on every position of responsibility entrusted to her. I have failed badly on nearly every post I have held, she wrote in one public apology. I've screwed up royally. I'm too destructive. She was right, and she left a trail of disasters for others to mop up in her wake. Time and again, Grady pleaded to be given another chance. The church abided by its policy of helping those who appear to genuinely want to reform. But Janice admitted she resisted and refused the help she was offered. All the while screwing up royally again and again, to the point in 1990 she was expelled. Grady wasn't heard from for years until press reports surfaced that she was implicated in a consumer loan fraud scandal. Grady and her husband were forced to shut down their loan company and surrender their license. Grady found a new calling as a gossip for tabloid media and anti-Scientology message boards, partnering with her BFF and former employee, Mark Fisher a sexual pervert who had found his own calling as a sex tourist and writer of an online how-to for picking up young prostitutes in Thailand. Leah Remini, desperate for talent, pulled Grady out of mothballs in 2018 and fraudulently presented her as someone who could speak on affairs of a church she had been nowhere near for almost 30 years. That's right, Janice Grady has not so much as stepped inside a Church of Scientology since 1990. That's back when the Cold War was still being waged. The World Wide Web didn't even exist, and cell phones looked like this. But neither truth nor time matter to Leah Remini. I mean, I'm just a crappy has-been actress who's trying to make a dollar off my church. Leah Remini knows the facts about Janice Grady, and so do her people at cable channel a and &E. Showrunner Miles Reef, producers Eli Holtzman and Aaron Sedman, and corporate bosses Paul Buccieri, Rob Chernow, and Elaine Frontaine Bryant. The church supplied them with full documentation before their series even began in production, but they ignored it because when your viewers are in the dark to begin with, you don't miss a chance to whitewash history, to serve bigotry and hate.
today.